Hello, seventh graders, and welcome to your second module for your writing class for the third trimester 2020. I'm super proud of so many of you, and I'm proud of all of you. But I'm especially proud of those of you who have actually finally understood the writing process. It's not just about sitting on your computer and just typing random stuff. That works, but not for this class. There is a process and there are guidelines, and I'm really happy for those of you who have finally been able to get with the program and figure out exactly what needs to be done. Uh, one of the things that I love the most is when some of my students who are now adults come back to me and tell me, hey, I wrote a book, and they show me the book they have written. That fills me with so much joy, because right now, this seems like just a whole bunch of blah, 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 why is she asking us for this? But you know what? One of these days, you're going to grow up, and this information is going to come in really handy. So we're going to continue with the writing process. And let me share my screen with you so we can get started immediately. Please remember, if at any point you have any questions, any doubts, you can send me an email to itmustbeenglish at gmail.com. I've said this before and I'm saying it again. Don't sit at home and make up stories and send weird text messages. No, send me an email to itmustbeenglish at gmail.com. Even if you have trouble uploading your work to the platform, you can send it to me at that email address and I'll be more than happy to receive it and to answer you. So let's go over some of the things that we talked about last time. First of all, what is a sentence? A sentence, the simple definition begins with a capital letter. See, the capital letter, very important and ends with a period or a full stop. So that's a sentence. So here where the comma begins, that's not where the sentence begins. The sentence begins here, the man, that's how it begins. And the entire sentence is the man walked to his car, which was parked all the way to the end of the lot when the concert was over. And so then let's talk about paragraph. Remember we said that a paragraph, and if you pay attention to books, to newspapers, to magazines, you're gonna see this. A paragraph is when all the words are together. As soon as you make a break, like you make a space, that's a second paragraph, okay? So this thing that you're looking at right now has two paragraphs. And this is the title. Remember how titles are written, and I spoke about that last time. In English, your titles are either everything in capital letters or each word capitalized. And remember that one of the instructions is always to underline your thesis statement. So in this first paragraph, my thesis statement is underlined. Some of you highlight it and that's perfectly okay. But it's important that you either highlight or underline your thesis statement. And when you're gonna count the words, you're gonna include the title, you do like this, and then that information pops up at the bottom of your screen. And this, these are two paragraphs and there are 72 words total. Remember the thesis statement is always the last sentence in the first paragraph. Also, let's go over titles. Like I just said, you can write titles two ways, like this, everything capitalized or first letter of each word capitalized. And here are some transitional words. And in addition to, furthermore, moreover, these are words that you're gonna use inside your paragraph to flow from one idea to the next. Let me explain. In seventh grade, we're gonna be writing process essays. And in a process, you're gonna tell steps. But in the paragraph, you're not gonna write number one, da, 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 number two, da, da, da. no. A paragraph has to have all the words together. Check your books, check the newspaper, check magazines, uh, where there are articles written. And so these words that are down here, these can help you. You can say, First, and you write the sentence, then second, third, again, further, finally, as well, etc. So those transitional words, sorry about that, my eye is itching. Those transitional words are very important for writing your paragraph. So this is your assignment, seventh graders. We are focusing on process essays. And remember that in a process essay, you share the steps for performing a certain task or process. 
And for 25 points, this is what you're going to do, five points each. Number one, you're going to write an introductory paragraph for an essay describing the process of choosing a video game. What do you take into consideration when you choose a video game? Now, remember, the first paragraph is only the introduction. So you're not going to give me the steps in the first paragraph. You're just going to talk to me about video games in the first paragraph. And second assignment, you need to underline the thesis statement. So if we go back up here, notice that my, this is my first paragraph. This is my first paragraph. And notice that my thesis statement is underlined, okay? Stories are the way in which beliefs are passed on from one generation to the next. My, my thesis statement, which is this last sentence, is underlined. The thesis statement is always, always, always in this class going to be the last sentence in the first paragraph. So your first assignment, write that introductory paragraph. Do not give me the steps. In the first paragraph, you're just going to talk to me about video games. Then you write your thesis statement. You underline your thesis statement. The third assignment is you're going to write a second paragraph. Now notice, people, go back here. It, this does not say paragraph one, da da da, paragraph two, da da da. No. Check your books, check articles, check newspapers. You do not write little titles for each paragraph. There's one title at the top, which is this and then two paragraph thesis statement underlined. So your third assignment is to write the second paragraph and in the second paragraph, you are going to include four important steps for choosing a video game. While you're writing those four important steps, check the transitional words. Use words like this, and in addition to, furthermore, moreover, besides, then, two, also, equally, uh, important, first, second, third, equally important. Those are the transitional words you're going to use to make sure it fits in a paragraph and you give me four steps to choosing a video game. One more time. In your first paragraph, you do not give me the steps. You tell me about video games. You make sure you have a good thesis statement. In the second paragraph, you're going to give me four steps for choosing a video game. Step one, da 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 da, -da. Also, da 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 da, -da. Uh, third, da -da 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 -da. Um, another thing you can do is da -da 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 -da. use the transitional words. So that's your third assignment, a second paragraph in which you're going to tell me four important steps for choosing a video game. When you're going to go out to buy a video game, how do you choose it? Okay. Then number four, you're going to give me a title. One more time. Let's go up. This is how you write titles. You can either do this everything capitalized, or you can do this, the first letter of each word capitalized. That's how you write a title in English, okay? Like this. And that's your fourth assignment. And the fifth one is you give me the word count. One more time. Your word count has to include the two paragraphs and the title. So your word count is gonna, you're gonna do like this. And you look down here, it says 72. That's what you're going to give me, 72 words. People, please remember, do not write paragraph number one, da, 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 paragraph number two, don't do that. Your work has to look like this, exactly like this. Your title, first paragraph, underline, second paragraph, word count. This is what I want to see, exactly like this, okay? Your title, first paragraph, thesis statement underline, second paragraph, and your word count. Each assignment is worth five points. So this is worth 25 points. I am not checking grammar and spelling, no. Because some of you are scared to write, so you get somebody to write for you. And you know what, if you're gonna do that, make sure the person watches the video. You have this flawless, beautiful paragraph and you didn't follow any of the instructions. So don't worry about grammar and spelling right now. I want you to get the process first. If you're going to make somebody do this for you because such is life, the person has to follow the guidelines in the video. So don't give me a perfectly written paragraph where you didn't follow any of my instructions. I want your assignment that you're going to turn in to look like this. The title, paragraph one, underline thesis statement, paragraph two, 72 words. Okay? 
take your time to do this, start working on it on time. And remember, if you have any questions, if you have any trouble uploading your work to the platform, just send me an email. Don't invent conspiracy theories. Send me an email to itmustbeenglish at gmail.com. And I've said this before, itmustbeenglish at gmail.com. Don't sit at home and make up these stories in your head about how everybody's trying to give you a bad grade. That's not true. I would love nothing more than for you to get a really good grade because you did your best work. So send me an email. Let me know if you have any questions, any trouble, any ideas, any doubts, or if you're simply having trouble uploading your work, send me an email. Okay, so have fun with this and I can't wait to read your paragraphs. You're, I'm super proud of you. You're so brilliant. You're doing such a great job and you know what? You've got this. See you next time.